Interesting. Yeah. Um, as you were saying, you became a mom at a very young age. In no. terms of, oh yes, in was. terms of, you know, uh, your two, uh, it seems two sons. I wasn't quite young though, considering the, the age of people who have babies. But uh, it was different. They were not newborn. No, they that's were right. older. So how was it? Was it scary, overwhelming? Because in one way, I think about if you're okay to talk about this, you know. No, no, absolutely. Um, They're part of my mm-hmm. life. Because. And I also feel that people um, who are stepping into a marriage, uh, in, into a marriage where uh, the person already has kids, this might be something that can help them, you know, uh, have a point of view from you or your experience, you know. So I, w- I was just wondering because if the kids are small, there's, there are different types of challenges. But if the kids are y- older, it, it becomes slightly easier, but it's also very complicated because mm. yes. they're going through so much. And it is. And you, are, you, and you, and not you've, not, you've not had experience at motherhood. So how, how did you handle how, what was going on, if you would like to share something? No, no, and everyone has their own journey and their own story. And, mm. uh, you know, it, it's difficult. The dynamics of a family, especially if they're little girls with a father or our little boys with a mother, it's, yeah. you know, depending, I mean, with me, I honestly can tell you the way that the situation was in Karachi, I look back then, was very hard. Like we were all going through a bit of a tough period um, back in 2011, 12. Um, There were a lot of protests, a lot of shutdowns, things like that. Um, Honestly, if it wasn't for my boys, I don't know if I would have made it. because, Because I put my blinkers on they were the most important thing okay so it was like you just focus on them yeah i didn't even notice the things going around i was just i have to get my kids i have to get them home from school and i have to work out i have to have a core mother's group to make sure that i can know whether we're going to send them tomorrow what do we do on homework how do we you know i had to get in the emails i was down at the school i was meeting all of the teachers but we had to get them through and they were just the most beautiful beautiful little boy. I'm so blessed. Like, I am very blessed. They, they were just two beautiful boys. And I fell in love with them about the same time as I fell in love with my husband. Mm. They were, it was, we were the team. It was the... We're going to come to that story in in a little bit. That story of meeting your husband. We're going to come on that. But with the, with the, with the kids, um, with the sons, um, it's Akbar and Temur. Temur. Um, Was it scary at the beginning when you found out or was it overwhelming or you were excited no it was good really without that i can't imagine what life would be without them we had so much fun it was about making them happy and how did you do it because wasn't weren't there any slight apprehensions also in your mind i can't like i said the things no there wasn't and i can't like i said i can't talk for everybody your heart's got to be in it yeah you know you it, it's it's meant if it's meant to be it's meant to be your life then you you have to just go with whatever life gives you mm. and I was lucky because mm. when I when I met the boys we became instantly friends and that was so good because my their dad has a good heart yeah. they have a good heart yeah. and we just all just got on yeah. but there was that time when I realized I can't be a friend to these boys mm. and that I have to step into a mother role yeah because I loved them so much I couldn't see things happen to them that or that was happening around them that that I was not approving of yeah. you can't have maybe chocolate cake for breakfast or you can't <laughs> not have breakfast before you go to school yeah. and uh, you have to eat your vegetables and you have yeah. to exercise you have to yeah. get out in the sun and yeah. you know there were things that, that probably needed to be happening so that's when I stood in Mm -hmm. and that was a choice Mm -hmm. I remember taking a step that day and said it's too painful for me to watch without I just I have to take this role and I told them I said I love you so much and I want to be your mommy and you know I'm gonna love you and you're gonna hate me because (laughs) I'm gonna yell at you sometimes and I'm gonna ground you but you know I will always be there for you and they know that they know that now and um, they always tell me you know and uh, I've proven that. I said you're gonna, you're gonna love me so much later. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna say thank me because you know all this hard work we're gonna go through. But uh, it's 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 what we did, and and we became stronger, and we had such a bond. And I was there for, you know, toothaches and, you know, broken knees and like getting first you know, rushes. Well, they didn't tell me too much about that, boys. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, no, we, we told each other everything, especially the oldest one and I, and yeah. we still have a very, very good friendship. The younger one, uh, 
where I think I've I've coddled him more as the my a baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's what kind of like, let go, let go. <laughs> I can imagine. I still try and my wife is there like, eat your vegetables. He's like, I'm 21. Oh, God. But uh, yeah, okay. it's, I think it's all mothers know. It's, yeah. it's very hard to let go of the, yes. the little one. But then what do they call you? Uh, I, we, I wanted to be called Shanira. Oh, okay. They, they've Shanira. got the option. And I'll always ask them, hmm. why don't you call her mummy? Mm. And, and <laughs> Tamara actually said the other day, okay, do you want me to call her mummy? She goes, yes. Yes. So Tamara started calling me mum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to <laughs> Isla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but Isla's, Isla's, yeah, definitely uh, fitted in very well in yeah. the dynamic. I'm sure she must mm. be so pampered and spoiled and loved by the brothers and all of you guys, you know. Like. We still we still talk a lot about their mum. We have pictures on our all around our house of her. We talk about her on her birthday. Yeah. Um, we talk about her on her Basi and we make sure that she's very much alive. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to take that away from them. They know mm -hmm. I'm mum. They tell everyone else I'm mum, but mm -hmm. they also have their mum. So what would you advise to the two women or girls who are getting into a marriage where um, the guy already has kids. Would you have any suggestions, any tips for them, or any things that they must consider or be careful about? Yeah, I think embrace it. Um, you don't know how lucky you are. Put yourself in those children's shoes and try to think what it would be like to have a mother and a father that are, are divorcing, or a, um, a father that's passed away, or a mother that's passed away. It must be so hard, and you find it in your heart. To give, to go over, above, and beyond, and give these kids everything you need. It will be hard, hard work at times, um, but do it because it is so rewarding. You get extra kids and no stretch marks. I know. <laughs> it's so good. It's great. No pain. Yeah, you no just get pain. to have the good times. Yes. Yeah. No pamper dating for that long. No. You know? yeah. And I must admit, like, yeah. come on, Disney, they didn't exactly make it very yeah. cool for us. No. All the stepmoms were horrible. Yes. So we're going to change that. You know, yes. be a trailblazer. Change. Yeah. Be, yeah. you know, cool stepmom. Yes. Okay. Did you ever feel conscious of that, the specific term stepmom? Uh, no, I'd never like to say. I never used the word No, but people around you, of course, not They did, and I find yeah, them... But did that make you feel a little... You know what I didn't like? I didn't like that it was a topic. Yeah. I didn't like it when I came to Pakistan. When I was in Australia, everyone's like, oh, wow, you've got kids. And mm. um, my parents instantly became grandparents, and they were yeah. so excited. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but I didn't like when I was here that people were found it an issue, yeah. and that there were people out there that would treat two little humans mm. differently because they weren't their own. I mm. think you've really got to check yourself if that's the case. Yeah. You really have to do some inner searching if you are making a little kid yeah. feel inadequate uh, just because, you know, of, of you. They're not really belonging to you or they're not your own, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's on you. Yeah. That's, you, you need to change, yeah. yeah.